us to the fourth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 Internal Science Paper 1, which is Physics. So the first episode covered section E, A, E, N, in third. So if you haven't seen this episode, please check out on our YouTube channel. Then the second episode looked at question E, B, 1. So let us look at question E, B, 3. Figure B3.1 below is a diagram showing a load being moved using a wheelbarrow. So we have the wheelbarrow with this weight pulling it downward, then we have this weight pulling it upward. Then the total mass of the wheelbarrow and the load is 8 kg. Take gravity to be 10 newtons per kg. Calculate the Loma numeral 1 weight of the wheelbarrow and the load. So we have this load and the wheelbarrow. So the wheelbarrow and the load they weigh 80 kg. So how do we find the weight? So weight is given by mass in kg multiplied by gravity. So what you notice in this case we have mass is 80 kg which is this one so it's 80 kg then multiply by this one which is 10 newtons per kg so what you notice is this kg and this kg cancels so multiply by that to be 80 times 10 we are going to get 800 newtons so 800 newtons is in the weight of the wheelbarrow and in the load so once you get that you are good to go so just note that you might be given weight then ask to find the mass where this is given to you so to do that it's just a matter of making mass a subject of formula so we divide by g we divide by g so we discover that mass is equal to weight over gravity so these are the things that you need to be thinking about when you are studying so once you are thinking like that you notice that this paper will be the easiest paper that you ever come across because questions use the same principle over and over so just take time to revise revise as much as possible Loma numeral 2 which is saying calculate the force f required to lift the wheelbarrow so we are looking at the, what's the force is this force so this force is pulling upward then this one down center is this is the center of pivot so to find the force which is in this case f which is required we use the moments so at equilibrium the clockwise moments is equal to the and clockwise moments so when you sum all the total clockwise moments in this case we sum all these moments upward must be equal to the moments downward in that case we are at equilibrium so if you're able to lift at this one then we are moving to equilibrium so the principle of moment states that moments are equal to the force in this case the upward force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the pivot so you see this distance we are talking about then the other one will be perpendicular distance from the pivot which is in this one up to the point where the force is acting so this tells me that this is moment one then moment two will be equal to force two multiplied by distance two then at equilibrium these two moments are equal so this tells me that force multiplied by distance one which is the distance perpendicular to the direction of force is equal to force two multiplied by distance two again in the same manner now let us identify these forces so what is force one so force one is equal to in this case is what we are looking for we shall call this one to be what we are looking for then what is the distance from the pivot you see this distance so it will be 0 0.5 meters multiplied by 1.5 so distance one will be equal to two meters then let us look at the force two so force two is this weight so it's this weight which is acting downward here 
that's in the first two we are talking about so this is the weight of the wheelbarrow and the load which is 800 newtons we're just from finding this one so you have to be careful that we do this one correctly so what is in the perpendicular distance from the pivot point so it's this distance which is 0 0.5 meters so we know now we have three things then you can easily find this one so let us just substitute on the next page so first one is what you're looking for multiplied by distance what is distance is two meters then equals first two we just from finding it which is 800 newtons then multiply by distance which is distance two which is this one 0 0.5 meters so we multiply by 0 0.5 then we're going to get f1 multiplied by 2 it will be 2 f1 is equal to uh, 400 newtons then we divide by 2 we divide by 2 so we discover that this one and this one goes then force will be equal to 200 newtons so 200 newtons is the force that we require for last to lift the wheelbarrow upward like that that's the minimum that we need so once you do this you get these two marks question b state whether force f would increase or reduce when the handles of the wheelbarrow are made longer so now when the handles of the wheelbarrow are made longer what is going to happen is the distance is going to increase so this distance let us assume just to make it clear this distance now is no longer two meters but it becomes now 2.5 because we've added the an additional 0 0.5 meters like that now what is going to happen is the distance one this one that we use two meters will be now 2.5 so it becomes 2.5 what is going to happen is now this value is no longer 2f but it will become now 2.5f because this is no longer 2 it will be now 2.5 then we quit this one to 800 multiplied by 0 0.5 so once you solve for f which we shall call f1 like the way it was here we are going to discover that we are going to have f1 is equal to 400 divided by 2.5 so f1 will now be 160 so we won't now need 160 newtons compared to 200 that we needed when the distance was in two meters away from the pivot so you notice that increasing the distance reduces the required force to lift the wheelbarrow then reducing the distance increases the force that we require to lift the wheelbarrow that's the principle so this tells us that f would do reduce when the handles of the wheelbarrow are made longer so once you do this you are assured of these five marks so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question b4